guys welcome back to my youtube channel thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos if you are a regular and you are a returning subscriber thank you so much keep coming i love you if you are new to this face kindly subscribe to my youtube channel and hit the notification bell for more updates whenever i upload any lifestyle video i am a kenyan vlogger and i do lifestyle videos so today I want us to review a fridge that is right behind me. I want us to review that fridge and see whether you can buy such a fridge or you can improve or you can do better than mine, you know. It's good when you want to shop for something, you get an insight of... <coughs> sorry. <coughs> I was saying it's good when you want to shop for something or your first fridge for you to get an insight of it, of someone that has used it before or someone that has, you know, an idea of what they look like and their experiences that you don't go wasting your money around buying fridges every now and then so this video if you're new looking to buy a new fridge or a fast fridge this video is for you mine is a von hot point fridge it looks like that from the inside and then the outside when you close the door it looks like that. it is a one a single door fridge and i want to tell you why i bought a single door fridge and not a double door fridge i will tell you why this size because of, of course of money uh yeah Let's get it. Oh, guys, welcome to my fridge. This is my refrigerator review. If you like it, can give, can give it a thumbs up before we begin. So, yeah, this is the fridge. It looks like it has a single door and a key lock down there and then one handle to pull the door from that side. The size looks like this. I will insert a picture of how it looks because the kitchen is so tiny I cannot go far enough to show you the size. But it's not really that tiny. It's enough for a small family. And then that, that's how it looks like from around. I wish I could show you the back. The back has uh, some one feature I love. I hope you can see it down there. There's one feature I love about this fridge. When, when, you, when you defrost your freezer, the water collects itself in a, in a container back there. It doesn't pour chini. Come in your fridge. It pours on a, on a container and then you pull it out and then you pour the water. You, you take it back there. So I'll show you that kahol that when, your, your, when power goes out, you know the freezer will defrost. The, all the water co collects itself in that bucket. Okay, that's my favorite feature on this fridge. And then when you pull the handle, that is what you get to see. Okay, so the freezer, sorry, my, my freezer door broke because of uh, freezing and then kufungu um, nguvu. That is how the fridge, fridge looks like from the inside. It has two shelves which are very spacious and one for vegetables and carrots down there and on in tomatoes. And then the door has uh, four shelves and then the freezer. I love this fridge because it's, it's, it's spacious yet very affordable, you know. You see, I, I, will, I will advise you not to buy um, a double door fridge if you are under budget, like 30000 and below. You, you will not need to buy that double door fridge because in a corner, it has little space. But if you get go for the single door, it's a little bit wider and you get more space for your things, okay? So that is how it looks like. It has that down uh, the lower the lower shelf and then you see the door looks like that. It has my two small things there. And then you have the eggs. And then the main side has that part where we put our tomatoes and carrots. And then one secret if you want to, to keep your carrots for longer, wrap them in a polythene bag and then put them in your fridge. They can last up to a month when you wash them and then you put them in the polythene bag. That's how the, the bottom part looks like. And then remember, when you close this top part, you have another shelf. Okay? So that is how I'm telling why I'm telling you the single door fridge is usually very, very spacious if you are shopping on a budget. And then the next uh, shelf, I usually put here fruits, but we are out of them. You need to shop. And then the top one, this one is where there is a lot of fresh air. So your leftovers, the food you've, you cooked, meal preps, you want to put them here because there is a lot of air circulation because your freezer, okay? And then on the top of the, this tray, this tray collects water from the freezer. When when the power goes out and then there's so much water may, coming out of your freezer, he tray na collect your magic. And then at the corner there, Hapo, I hope you can see, there is a capin hole that collects the water. That water passes through here, okay? So this thingy here is the one that collects your water that has come from the freezer and then you take it out through the back container that I was telling you about. How cool is that? I love this fridge for that. You can never find water dripping out of your fridge like the normal fridge, the, the, you know, some fridges I know. 
okay so that is the coolest thing this tray collects your water passes through that thing down there and then it, you can even see right now it's dripping because there was no power and the, the freezer uh, it uh, defrost okay uh, so that's it from the shelves we have one two and then of course three for here chini and your container that's really enough if for a small family you don't need so much space because fridge kwa fridge pia vitu haribika so you don't want to keep so many things in your fridge and then here is uh, the ice box the ice of course ice zone okay in your freezer like a small freezer that comes with your fridge is not really small cause in in kondani and you can see i have managed to put my cereals this is gideri that is i think kuku and then smoky you can see and there's still space if you arrange them properly there is still space so it's not really tiny and you, you see the, the the food in your freezer can last really really long time because freezing capacity okay eco so you you want to put your food in your freezer and then you lock this small door and then on the right you have been uh, given instructions this knob is to control the temperature that you allow in the freezer or the settings of the atmospheric temperature you know there's atmospheric temperature and then the, t the temperature inside your ice bowl, ice zone okay so you balance it with this knob kama kuna kuko monsoon kuna nyesha nyesha unaeka hapo meaning it balance yenyewe temperature ya nje na ya hapo ndani and then when it's too hot you take it to summer when it's too, when it's not really so you want to turn it off you put it off there kama kuko winter winter unaona kuna baridi nje because the food is yet because na baridi nje you put it there that's how you regulate your temperature in your freezer Okay, and then you've been told if the ice is red, indicator in freezer, then press the button to defrost. When you defrost, you might just end up going as I've told you. You have been asked not to use sharp objects to remove the ice. Okay, this is a lot of work. I did not realize how this can be. So that is generally the fridge, and I'm telling you this was thirty thousand shillings, and um, um, I love it. That's why I thought to do a review of it of this fridge because i'm sure there is someone somewhere that wants to buy a fridge their first fridge and they have no idea what to consider you want to consider the space inside fungua the fridge while you're, you're shopping for it look for the shelves how many shelves are there the store the ice zone eco kiasi can you freeze your your cereals the door how many shelves does it does it have can it contain your food after you're done with that look at the power efficiency when you're done look ask the the of course the the dealer to tell you the power consumption mm -hmm. and then yeah also the color this one has the bl has blue blue trees the trees look really blue and when it's really clean and empty it looks so pretty you guys you won't even believe it so i think this is a good fridge i have my review is that it's a pretty fridge it's good it's special for family for small family and if you are shopping for a fridge on a budget so guys, this is the end of this video. I hope you learned something. I hope you learned that uh, how to shop for your fridge. I hope you gained something today. Okay, if you did not, that's okay. If you did, let me know in the comment section below. And I wish you all the best as you shop for your new fridge or you upgrade your, new, your fridge or you buy another fridge. Depending on the situation, I hope I helped. Thank you so much for watching this video. My name is Faith. Peace. I'll see you in my next video. Subscribe and remember to be you. And trust no one, just you. Bye-bye.